Uh, welcome, everybody. Uh, welcome back to the Triforce Podcast. Oh my God, we're here again. Uh, it's uh, it's been a week, and uh, we're right right back at it. Me, Lewis, Flax. Hello. 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 Right back where we started from. Yes. Oh, what a wonderful time to be alive. <laughs> well, well, maybe for some it is. So I've got, I've got a pinched nerve in my neck this week, and Ooh. it has been killing my ass hard. Uh, it's it's the worst. You know, like, uh, have you ever had any, like, uh, nerve pain in your teeth? Like, dental-related mm, pain? Yeah, it's horrible. Okay, imagine that in your shoulder and arm. Oh, mm. Constantly as well. And the worst thing is, it hurts to sit down. You know, like, most pain is like, you sit down, you get a relief from it? This is the opposite. Mm. Like, uh, I'm standing up all the time. It's so annoying. Do you so suppose it's, it's the nature of uh, the job that we all do, where we're sitting down and playing games all day has led I to I don't it? think it helps, yeah. Yeah. Um, what, what, is this is this going to be a thing that everyone has? A gen you know, this is why our parents warned us against. They yeah. were like, "Oh, if you're hunched over playing video games all day, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna turn into a hunchback of old man." It's like, it, it 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 baffles me though because I am so buff. You know, like I've got huge muscles. I work out all the time. Spend more time in the gym than I do gaming for sure. And uh, and still here I am. You know, you get punished just for like. Five minutes a game in a day, pretty much, it feels like. So um, It might be when you were doing that Playboy shoot that you twisted it. Because they could had you have been. in some pretty elaborate positions. Could have been. They, they asked me to shift my gear over to the left at one point, And I think it might have, might have mm. done might some. Have given you a twinge. Give, given me a neck or spinal related, you know, yeah. twinge. No, honestly, I, mean, I, <laughs> I slept funny one night. I woke up and I had like a kink in my neck. No, let's just keep going you know, with that. You know, you, you know, you get those nights where you oh. wake up and you're like, oh, I've got like a bit of a crick in my neck. And uh, and that just slowly progressed into this. I tell you what, white hot pain me. in my shoulder and this arm. shit happens to me. Like this morning, I woke up and I was in exactly the same position. I realized I've been in exactly the same position that I was when I'd gone to sleep. I obviously hadn't moved around in the whole six hours or whatever. Like right. And I was like f frozen, like locked. I, I, I tried like moving a little bit and everything was like, I'd obviously not moved in so long. <laughs> yeah. Everything was kind of locked. And so I had to like sl very like slowly loosen myself up, and it yeah. took like five minutes. I kid you not. Well, you're like, forty now. This is, the, this is what happens. Yeah. These are the kind of things that happen to uh, it's it's bad, our old bodies. Dude. Yeah, yeah. Like you don't they don't warn you about this. No, well, they do. They do. You just ignore it because you <laughs> think. Yes, so you don't believe it. That's yeah. true. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm young. I don't give a shit about what these old people are saying. But now yeah. I'm as just as just old as those old people. And, at this point, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, I've yeah. become the old person. So God. So yeah, like it's just um, uh, it's just a, a catalog of of health complaints that starts coming out, and it's even worse as you get older. That's all. That's all it is when you talk yeah. to old people. They're like, oh, I've had a fall, or twisted my ankle. Oh, I banged my hip, and they're like, oh yeah. And then you look, you see it, and it's like this massive bruise because their whole yeah, body. Yeah. And you're like, oh one, my God. one interesting thing that's come out of this, and it's not something I ever really considered before, but um, I've discovered through this that most doctors across the UK and indeed maybe the whole world seem to spend most of their spare time in my Twitch chat. So mm. that, that was really interesting <laughs> to find out as well, because I've had so much advice on the things Crown. that I could be, should be doing. Uh, I, I, I need a complete life overhaul, it turns out. Yeah. This is and, why you can't uh, get a fucking appointment. It's all they're yeah, doing, just watching it. They're uh, all, farming they're all sim. At, they're all at home watching farming sim, it seems. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, so that was a, that well was a cool thing to find out as well. Oh my goodness, that's great. Oh, we know what the overlap is between doctors in your chat and ISP experts in mine. <laughs> you got all the technicians in yours. Yeah. I got all the doctors. Goodness. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we should get. Maybe we should join forces at some point, and they can. The what? two of them can battle it Destroy out. Destroy know? them all. Yeah. It'll be like what we do in the shadows when the vampires and the <laughs> werewolves get together. It'll that's, be the doctors oh, and the, the ISP such... technicians. I was. Uh, I, w I watched the film the other day. The film is really good. I know. It's a bit like, I feel like for some people, the TV series was better. Yeah. I mean, I know that I really thought the film was excellent. I couldn't really um, get into the TV series. I tried to, to, to watch a couple of episodes and I liked it enough, but I, having loved the film yeah, yeah. and seen it a couple of times, I, I feel like it would take a lot for me to get into the series enough to make me enjoy it more than the film. I just thought that the film was great. So I, I think with the TV series, um, 
a bit like, say, the US office, right? The, yeah. the, it takes a bit of time to get going because it's not gags. Like when you watch something like, let's say, Have I Got News For You, which I don't watch anymore, but let's imagine you watch Have I Got News For You. Yeah. The jokes are current. They're about other people who are famous or infamous or politicians or whatever. It's not character driven comedy. It's like political comedy. Yeah. So you can just watch one episode. If it's character driven comedy like The Office or like what we do in the shadows. Um actually did they rename it for the TV series or is it called something else? I can't remember. Anyway, um you have to get to know the characters and much of the humor just comes from you know these characters almost like you literally know them. Yes. It takes a few episodes to get into that I'd say. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I, mm -hmm. I mean it is very funny. I would say give it a give it a go. There are some really good episodes. It's brilliant. Yeah, yeah I really yeah. like it. I think it's it's very light. Um very doesn't, you know, always ready with a joke. Matt Berry's amazing. Huge fan. I Matt like Berry's him in always that. very funny. I find yeah. him a bit a bit much at times. Um, I really it's, liked I him he, in the IT he, crowd. He, he, as he well. grows on you, though. He grows on you. I think a lot. Mm. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I've been people... watching. He was. He was. I wa I've been seeing him since Garth Marenghi's Dark Place. That was the first thing I saw him in. And Richard Ayoade. I think that was the first thing I'd seen him in as well. Um, and and Toast of London's good. Um, but it's just Matt Berry is pretty much always Matt Berry. And if that's enough is. for you, great. But I, I think so. I sometimes feel he just does this a lot, and it's like yes. I don't know if that's actually making the lines. Sometimes I go, I go in for that, you know. It's a yeah, bit I like kind of, a, it's like a Brian Blessed kind of vibe, right? With the uh, yeah. with the with the over dramatic uh, he's, he's delivery beloved. of every line and yeah, stuff. He, yeah, he is beloved. Yeah, I don't know if he's winning any awards for the, for it, but he certainly certainly I'm a fan. Yeah, it's um, he's, he's pretty funny. Yeah, I could I could take him or leave him honestly, but he's 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 pretty funny. So, what did you guys do for Valentine's Day yesterday? Um. Wow. <laughs> uh, I uh, I, I cooked, all I cooked day. a lovely dinner. Oh, nice! Um, my I went into Twickenham with my youngest. We went shopping a bit. Bumped into my eldest and her friend there, which was nice. Um, and uh, I cooked steak with Bernays sauce, triple cooked chips, and um, lot tender stem broccoli. Nice mm. for all four of us. And then cheesecake. And a nice bottle of wine. Holy crap! Uh, and then I lost four games of Dota in a row. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah. What a night. The That's stack a was the stack was me, Paul Choi, a couple of Joe's mates, uh, Des and Munchie, and Ruta. Um, we we lost all. Four games. So did you like have a rose clasped in your teeth the whole time? No, you we don't go in games? for that shite. I mean, no. if I went to go to bed, especially for some sexy time, and there were fucking petals everywhere, I'd be furious. I'd be like, what are you doing? Like, we're going to have to clean up these fucking petals. This is ridiculous. Yeah, the oil is all over something. the place. Yeah. yeah. If you're in a hotel, it's someone else's problem. But yeah. if I'm in at home, I've got a fucking petals what's sexy about a fucking dead flower that's been its carcass has been strewn about the bed? And yeah. now you've put oil on stuff. That's and now we have to change the sheets tomorrow. This is a joke. You've yeah, ruined Valentine's tonight. Day. Not I'm storming out. Sleep well in greasy yeah. sheets. But but no, I'm so, I was saying like you know, did you like no. you know spray a bit of perfume no. in the in your gaming room no. and like you know gently caress your monitor as you no. loaded up Steam? Did none of it. Um, Fuck Valentine's. And Lewis, I'm more interested to find out what you did for Valentine's Day because me and Flax are both married with children, and uh, Valentine's hits a bit different for us because yeah. uh, I think. I could probably safely say both of us don't really give a shit about it. And I don't Amen. think our wives really do either. Yeah, they don't give a you, shit. You, who are a young, budding <laughs> dater on a the gigolo. dating scene, a gigolo. you would have had mm. to um, really pulled out the razzle-dazzle yesterday, I would have thought, with a date, probably, or... I think you'll find that I am someone who was also in two very long relationships. Right. Um... And I have a very similar view of Valentine's as you do. And so do a lot of people who are my age. Yeah. Um, so it's not any different. There isn't some sort of, we didn't like, you know, yeah. I didn't do anything that was um, did you uh, Did you rub wild. ice cubes on each other's bodies, like in front of the fridge and um, pour chocolate sauce on each other and stuff? I think you have to do a, a bare minimum of effort, right? I didn't, yeah. I didn't get any um, presents for my date right. um or, or anything like this was this, or a, flowers. Was this a new date did you go out did you go out for a meal a succulent meal was we went for a succulent thai knees meal yeah right was <laughs> it was the place packed because it's valentine's day yes it yeah. was but i booked a table so yeah i mean i was i prepared, prepared you were ahead. prepared but the 
But you could tell, I know this place that, that I've been there before and it's never busy ever. And you could tell that they were actually expecting to be busy this that is night. Like so the, they had this they is had their this big sort of, night, yeah. Yeah, they were like rushing around, making sure, sure they were like, you know, I was like, um, can we get the bill? And she just pulled the flipping card machine out of her pouch, you know, just pointed it at me immediately. And she, she was like, <laughs> I, could, I could tell she was like, there's people outside well, who want to come enough, in. you played up, you know what it's like when they're out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Get them and lose the run, yeah. It was just very practical. And I respected that. I wasn't even bothered by like the... the the rushy feeling because uh, to be honest i'm not a big fan of like sitting around in a restaurant for like an hour after i finish no. my meal i want to get get some air I, and, like... I i know that staff fucking hate it when people do that um like if you well, why finish don't they bring your the, meal why, 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 why don't they bring the, the bill over the car machine over sooner yeah no, no, but like I, I i'm saying that some people will get the bill and pay and then sit there for fucking ages yeah but that, just, just if, the, if it's not a busy night that's good right because well, a restaurant wants uh, you to, if you're passing by and you look course, in and you see course. people in there, you're more inclined to then go Absolutely. in yourself, right? And but on a really busy night, drinks, like yeah. Valentine's Day, they want But also you to pe people out. will stay there late. Yeah. Like there are restaurants where when the, you're the last table, as soon as you're done, the staff can all clean up and fuck off. Yeah. And you're like, another round of lemon cellos, please. For me and my new friends. <laughs> and you're we are like, really oh. hitting it off thanks yeah. to my big bank balance and my credit <clears throat> yeah. card. And those people never fucking tip. Any any yeah. restaurant workers out there, you know the vibe. You know what I'm talking about. It's interesting to see that stuff. Sometimes people sort of say, post their sort of, um, tra track their tips and track their things. And they post it on the internet and they say, oh, my best day I got $400. My worst day I got 23 cents of tips, you know. Yeah. And it's like, <laughs> it's, it's like, it really is that wide of a spectrum yeah based, and, and so i guess you want to work valentine's right because i suppose you could get money you know men you are maybe could. maybe they maybe splashing the cash yeah, or showing it's, off it's busy know, like, so it's just volume even if everyone's a bad tipper if there's lots of them it adds up i guess have you been out for a meal on valentine's day when you didn't realize it was valentine's day because that happened to me a few years ago well um, i mean actually i didn't realize it was valentine's day yesterday because it was pancake day the day before oh, and that, that completely that's, blew it yeah, out of i my can mind. see how that would get you get and i'm not really i'm not really just woke about this any of anything at all what well, i mean woke i mean awake i'm not actually awake <laughs> about any of the reality around me so it, but fortunately on yes on the Valentine's, i did actually just book up and i got table on the day mm. it wasn't actually like i was lucky but but no i don't i, I don't think I think sometimes you're right that you go out and you're like, why the fuck is it so busy? Yeah. And you realize it's Saturday afternoon at half term on Black Friday or whatever. Yeah, right, there's right, like yeah, some yeah. combination of things that have happened. So I, like, I, went oh. to, I went to see a movie a few years ago. I think I might have mentioned this before. Last Valentine's Day, perhaps. Um, I went out, me and a mate were going to a, see a film. And we went to a, we, I booked a table at a restaurant. N no idea it was Valentine's Day. And we walk in and it's packed. And the, the guy behind the desk, I go up and go, yeah, table for two. And I suddenly see Valentine's Day special and everybody's got all these flowers and everything. And me and my mate are going to go and have to eat a meal together on Valentine's Day. Like we're a couple, um, which was a little awkward. Like I, I, we got like a little smile from one table. They kind of gave us a smile like, ah, oh, the gay guys are having their Valentine's meal. That's what it felt like. A little condescending in all honesty. Yeah. Um, all these couples, it was all couples around us having a meal and then me and my mate. We didn't give a fuck, but it was funny. The movie was pretty good. I can't remember what it was, but it was a decent movie. Nice. Yeah, I, we don't really go in for, for Valentine's Day. We got some stuff for the kids. The kids like it. They kind of, you know, we got just got them some chocolates and cards and stuff like that. But my, my have you heard of Galentine's? No. So Galentine's is when two girls like who are besties have, because they don't have a fella, they have like an evening together or they treat each other to presents and that's their Galentine. This Galentine's, sounds right. so good. Yeah, yeah, I would go. Yeah, in this for sounds some of that. really healthy because Valentine's Day. I honestly could not have been feeling like lower yesterday. I was feeling like mentally in a really shitty place, and I don't know. I've not felt this way for a long time, and I think it's not like anything's particularly bad. I think it's just the the, the winter and um, a lot of stress and a lot of changes at, at York's cast generally like are bothering me, and I'm worried that I'm like rubbing everyone the wrong way because I'm like coming in and interfering with stuff that they've done for years and asking them questions and saying like, why are we doing this? And can we do this differently. And I think everyone's sort of getting slightly pissed off at me being a control freak. And I think I'm just in a place where I'm like mentally really insecure. And I think if, if, if with, with the pressure of Valentine's as well, it, like being like, Oh, you single, like, Oh, you haven't got a date. You're like, what are you doing? Like it is awful. 
Um, mm. I was very, I'm very lucky that I've um, been seeing someone for a couple of weeks, and it's 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 going well, and I like them. Um, but to the point where I've deleted all the uh, apps actually. But, nice, um, nice. But it's been a, a absolute nightmare, really, with with um, with people on there. Um, <laughs> it, it's, it's hell. I hate it. I hated the whole experience, and uh, I don't know if I'm ever going to install the apps again because the whole th- experience was so f- just toxic from top to bottom. Like, um, so you're done with dating apps. You're gonna. I don't know. I'm. I'm you're gonna I, try some traditional methods next time. <sighs> I'll just carry on being single for years and years. Like Hell I yeah. Was before. Well, you might like, not need you know. to if your current um, girlfriend works out, yeah. you know? We'll, we'll, we'll see. I haven't um, met but... her yet. And when I come down in April, Lewis, make sure I meet her. I'll let you know if it's on or if it's off. Okay. Right. He'll, well, do I think like, he'll do like I'll a thumbs up, thumbs down. Yeah, so I'll lean in. I'll be like, long. not this one. That's what that's what I'll say. Not this one. If she's no good. Uh, and if I, if I days. embrace her when I meet her, she's a keeper. All right. I'm going to know instantly. <laughs> well, yes. And if thank I you. if um, I offer a, a firm handshake, it's a no. Right. That's but I, the... I think like boy boy Valentine's. Isn't that kind of no, beer, I thought it'd or be wasn't it? Palantines, wouldn't it? Oh, Palantines. That's a really healthy thing. Man, we should have Palantines. We'll make that a thing next time. By the time we come around to next year, we'll have forgotten about it. I think I'd that. be so bad really doing thing. a Palantines, like, because uh, I don't even really celebrate Valentine's with my wife. I think if I turned around, it's like, yeah, me and, me and, uh, me and Stu were going to have a Palantines. She'd be like, what? <laughs> yeah. I, would, I think it's not, it's not for you, though. No. It's for, like, divorced men yeah. and, like, you know, oh, and, yeah. and lonely men. Ne- next and, year, and... let's have a Palpatines. We and need to be we have to, to betray people, betray the Republic, and then <laughs> a plan will... My plan is complete. <laughs> My pal- plan pal- to pal- have an operational dinner is complete. <laughs> oh, I'm afraid the coffees will be quite delicious when they arrive. <laughs> yes, reach for the lemon cello. <laughs> Let your anger flow through you. Oh. Use the credit card. <laughs> Use the credit card. <laughs> Your pay oh. machine is nothing, my friend. God, I haven't been out anywhere to eat or anything in such a long time. Like I'm so. Out we of need to do a Palatine's Day. Palatine's. We need to get you out. There. Yeah. yeah. I think this is it. Well, lads and ladies too, go out with your friends and 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 let's and do make, a let's make... do a Palatine's train trip to Paris. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'll book and, it. And it's, it's also tough. I know, like a few couples who are sort of separated because they're away or in different countries or. Visa problems or various issues. Or one you know of them's I mean? in they're, prison. They're oh, <laughs> just a thought. Yeah. Just I a don't thought. know. I, I don't know any of them who are in prison. Or one of them's but... on a long-term space mission. We have had a couple of people right, write yes. into the mailbag who are in prison. So that's true. And that's true. We I'm might prison Mike. Probably... Yeah, prison <laughs> Mike. Prison Mike wrote in. But well, you know, God, yeah, Valentine's must be a must be a real bonding time for them in in prison. You know? Yeah, if you're, so especially it's... if you're the new guy. It's so Valentine's Day, so it's your turn in the barrel. That's how it goes. Go. Oh, prison. Oh, shit. But the day before Valentine's, of course, was actually a really good one. Pancake it was, it was, day. It was pancake day. Yeah, yeah. Why, right, why do you like Shrove pancake Tuesday. day? Well, because any excuse to eat more pancakes. It's just an excuse to fuck around and make pancakes. So and what we don't kind do of pancakes it. are you doing? We just got some, uh, we just got some, the best. Morrison's. The British. The best. Yes, buttermilk pancake pancakes. Mix. No, no, Stick no. Them in no, no, no. Pan. Sips is making buttermilk pancakes, which are like the oh, fluffy, the fluffy yeah, proper ones. Yeah, right? yeah, the good ones. You know, yeah. good the Canadian pancakes, the ones yeah. that are tasty, and the, you can the put really a fucking butter ones. and syrup oh, and shit. Yeah, good and I did. Yeah. I did do that. But what I, we I make over like, here mm, is dog crepes. shit pancakes. Well, we we make we make skinny crepes with 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 classic lemon and sugar. I like That's cre- the way to I like crepes it. as well. I will eat a with, crepe if there is with one. With a bit of banana, offered. strawberry, and blueberry oil. Yeah, or hell yeah. Chips. yeah, frightful. It's the best. It's but I I feel like Americans and Canadians, well Canadians specifically, have gatekeeped 
um, maple syrup a bit. I, I know they have yeah, it, but every you, time so I use hard maple to syrup, get, isn't it? Oof. I feel. No, but I feel <laughs> like I feel like I'm not allowed to be using it. Why? You know I, mean? like, I don't know. Like you can. Like, Canada's got a strategic reserve I think of this it's, stuff. I mean, it's well, I, fine. Just, you can use it. I think it. it's just because there's Canadians in the office and um, and sips and every time I've and I think he's always been a bit protective of it. Or no, something, no. I, oh, what are you right? I don't care. I'm spreading the word. I want everybody to enjoy <laughs> yeah. some maple syrup. All Holy right. crap. Crap, man, you need to go to Canada and have some maple syrup right out of the tree. Oh my god. You go to the sugar bush, they uh they can they prepare it for you. It's like it's all like stringy and gooey that you can eat it right off a stick. Fuck, it's fantastic. I, do I, they it's do so they uh, refine it in any way, or is maple syrup just sap? It's it's it is uh sap. It's very liquidy uh when it comes out and mm. they refine it. They add sugar to it and they oh. boil it and they do some other stuff to it. Uh, to make it uh, kind of like what it is uh, when you consume it, but uh, it's yeah. still got that great taste. Like uh, when, like when it comes out of the tree, you you want to add like a bit of sugar to it. Realistic, it is it is a unique taste. I, I was watching this video the other day. I can't remember. It's a famous YouTuber. He's like a chemist, and he does videos where he basically made a cookie, um, the purest cookie ever, from like you know um, chemical lab ingredients. Uh -huh. You know, and it was. <laughs> It made me think about how much we kind of underestimate the the complexity of the the, the things we eat. you know even uh, all the all the comp all the components that go into a cookie are so diverse right because they're made from plants or animals and but that is just not the nature of chemistry right chemistry is so like individually purified like you have you know acetone and you have you know uh, another thing ether you have you have like acetic acid right it's trying to make you can make things out of it like pharmaceuticals and flavorings and things like this right but trying to copy the complex like makeup of of wheat or you know milk is like it, it really hard and it ends up making this really odd he ends up making this really odd cookie um but it may be it, it's just I, i've seen a few of those videos where you know someone makes their own hamburger from scratch right and it's like oh okay, they grow the they grow the wheat and they harvest it and they grind it and they make the bun and you know they help they have the whole process it's fascinating to see like this this stuff so yeah i think like pancakes i that why are they so nice um and and is it possible to like make them fake right if if, if for example like all all the wheat died right and we were just living in a in space in like a chemical lab environment yeah. where we just had the basic like basic machine that was making stuff out of the the, the individual ingredients the replicator it, it would be i reckon it would just it would never be the same like i've, I've eaten a lot of these things like we we're doing this pancake day right and so we had gluten-free pancakes we had vegan pancakes we had like you know all this stuff, and it, it, I mean you you say ve like wait wait what what, food has what got needs reputation. to be vegan about a pancake? Uh, doesn't it have like butter in it? Yeah, and stuff? butter sometimes milk and eggs. Is that wait? So you can't even have eggs? No, any the vegans anything, can't have eggs or butter. That's no, an animal, animal product, product no. or byproduct. Well, what's wrong with eggs? They just have them anyway. I know, but they come from an animal, so vegans won't eat them. Yeah, but the chickens don't care. No, it's, but it's, still, it's a principle thing. But what's the what's the principle? It's like how you won't play League of Legends. No, but I tried that, <laughs> and it was shit. No, they've tried eggs. eggs are obviously good. They've tried eggs as well, and they decide yeah, they were shit. Yeah, but I bet they the loved them. Who doesn't like eggs? Some people don't uh, well, like them. Well, that's the problem. We do. Everyone does. We. It's it's kind of a combination thing, though. Eggs are eggs are one of these things that give people the ick, right? When you actually start thinking about them, yeah. No, wait, wait, where wait, they wait. come no, no, from, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. what they are. If you've ever been around chickens, you don't have to fucking be mean to them to get eggs to come out. No, no, they just have eggs. They freely will just, just dump eggs, eggs come everywhere, out. Yeah. and they don't yeah, give a shit. They're not going to be like some people just my only eggs. Eat chips. Some people only eat chips. Look, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a thing. No, I want to um, understand why they've drawn a line at eggs. Because it's, it's everyone has their own. It's anything. Line they won't eat honey because no, it comes listen, from a bee. Listen to me, lads. I am not saying how dare they. I'm just <laughs> asking why eggs. What's why the eggs? argument for vegans saying we can't have eggs? Because you well, know, okay. they're just gonna lie there in the hay and eventually 
just get trampled and not be used. Uh, part of it is is the way some chickens are treated as well, right? So get yeah, them like, from an organic farm. If that's the issue, all I'm saying is there has to be more to it than that. They're not that I desperate to eat eggs, eggs, though. That's the but thing. But these chubby eggs are amazing. Okay, you but they, they're omelets. not. But they you don't want have them. Scrambled eggs. You can't have fried eggs. You can't have poachies. They you don't can't wanna, have anything. They don't want to risk eggs. buying eggs from somebody who is not keeping them well or or whatever. You know what I mean? That they just it, it's it's just like a principle thing. They just they it's it comes from an animal, so they they won't eat it. Right, but so okay, so let's say that the fur that fell off my dog was yeah. edible. Just imagine it. I'm not right. saying it is. I wouldn't eat my dog's fur at all. Yeah. The fur that falls off my dog is edible. Uh -huh. But some people shake their dogs to make their fur fall off so they can eat it. Yeah. Now, if right. I'm just picking up the loose fur that my dog drops anyway and using it, what's the moral argument against that? Okay. Well, what you're talking about there is kind of a a, a freegan, right? That is someone who is like um, doesn't want to be wasteful, and that's a different moral code. Kind of that is that is is using what's available. And a lot of people are the same. They have chickens locally in their back garden, even and they're vegan, but they will eat the eggs, right? Right, because they're just they're, they're, gonna, they're, they're just, just giving them away. Wasted, yeah, exactly. Well, I mean, that's well, a very what specific the pro the example. Problem is, is that I mean, it sort of. I think it perpetuates the idea is that if you support the egg industry by eating eggs, you're sort of perpetuating this cruelty. You know, it's not going to be long period before there's a factory full of your dogs you know and, and they're being shaped on a big conveyor belt to get this there yeah. um, right but you know hold on but then if all the we... packaging will be like yeah we play with the dogs and we let them play playstation <laughs> for five hours a day and it'll be all fun and wacky yeah it'll be beautiful but it'll actually be like a lovely, behind the scenes it's it'll be very park, cruel but actually yeah. it's like the most disgusting yeah. and we name we individually name every one of our dogs and then when we get the fur off them we make sure we give them so many hugs and kisses as well <laughs> just to make them feel great so that's the that's right. the marketing. That yeah. is the I marketing. Get that. I yeah. get that. It's like uh, innocent smoothie. <laughs> it's innocent smoothie yeah. owned by Coca Cola. <laughs> it's fucking I do have unbelievable. One, one problem. One problem with this this idea, right, is that we're encouraging the egg industry. So we're not going to buy eggs because that will discourage the egg industry. Here's what it will actually do, in my opinion is if you have a group of people who are morally conscious about the treatment of animals, and they are no longer your customers, you no longer need to market to that, you no longer need to produce anything in an ethical way, because the customers you have left don't give a fuck. And if you say, I'm not buying eggs because it's supporting the egg industry, and some elements of the egg industry are really bad actors. So because even though these guys are fine over here, and they're making eggs the right way, and they treat the chickens right, and all the rest of it, I'm not going to buy their eggs out of principle. Well, then that branch goes bust. And now all you have is the battery eggs. So what I'm saying is, if you actually are vegan and care about animal welfare, chickens don't give a fuck about eggs. They don't give a shit. They, they just pump them no, out every day. Look, we just don't. I think the other thing is, once you start reducing something in your diet, you, you, you don't like it anymore. There, there is this preference that happens. Like for me, I wasn't trying to become vegan. I just sort of wanted to eat less and it became easier just to eat nothing. And, th and then I kind of, it kind of makes me feel uncomfortable eating it now when I think about where it came from and, and what it what it's it an is. Egg is. I think so there's good. and also like when you crack to some it. extent, health animal products are just worse for your health. They are. Uh, sorry, everyone. And some of them are gross in. too, like but gelatin, like, for example. <laughs> it's fucking gross, man. It's so like, like unnecessary, eggs, and eggs it's have just a lot of cholesterol. Gross. Red meat isn't great for you, your heart. Like there's these are proven facts, right? So you know, and people will say, oh well. You know, milk's got a lot of calcium in it. Well, yes, but so does vegetables. So just eat those instead. You know, well, the reason we drank a lot of milk and were recommended that it was good for you is because no one ate any fucking vegetables. It was the only source of calcium. If you eat vegetables, you'll get plenty of calcium. It's, 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 this is the kind of world we live in, though, where we can't trust where those eggs come from, right? And unless you know, I can. And not everyone My has a local Laura chicken has, farm. has a chicken farm. And the allotment well, has them. You can just get eggs. Well, in that case, go for it. Like, but but again, there's 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 innumerable reasons why someone might not want to eat. But do you know what I mean? I do. I but I, at the same time, I was a a, a vegan. Uh, I was I was an egg eater, an eggan for a long time. I enjoyed an egg. I do enjoy an egg. Oh, I, I love egg, an egg. God, advocate. Like, I eat an egg. Break, like, you egg can't have to that in I in can. Vegas. Um, God, I'm not I love a vegan. I love I love eggs generally. Egg fried rice, classic. Hey, technically, you know? I can eat whatever the fuck I want. I don't have to explain it to anyone. T t tamago, but... God, I miss tamago so much because that was incredible. You know, when I went to Japan, that was awesome. I've you know, I I've moved on to egg plants though. Now. Nice. I just I just don't understand the argument against eggs. I mean, it, if you I I don't buy meat that's like 
this animal was specifically tortured to get to your plate. I try to avoid that. As <laughs> I don't much think as they I can. really brand like that, though. They sure try they to you keep it fluffy. I think they you can try tell to keep they didn't it. They put anything on it about the animal. They're like, oh, it's a chicken. It was a chicken. Don't yeah. look at it too closely. Like, if you buy the shit chickens, you can see the little burn marks on their ankles from yeah. standing in shitty conditions. You can yeah. see all that. Yeah. But uh, I, I just don't like the idea that eggs, eggs are amazing. They're like, it's like life. It's like a symbol of life and continuation and goodness. I know, and when but... When you put them in a pie or, or a pancake or something, that I love it. I yeah, love it. that's, uh, I mean, and that's great. But the, but people who choose not to eat them have decided their path and they, and there's alternatives for them. Like, they, they, they What's know... What's the alternative uh, to an egg? I don't know that, but I'm sure they know if they've decided not to have them. Like I, I I'm not going to spend all my time going into it. I have no intention of ever being a, a vegan, so I, I, I know I bits and pieces about them. But I, the alternative to I'm not doing like a thesis on them or, or anything either. I want I just want to understand the egg, the egg it's problem. It's probably look. It's just animal cruelty. Billy, we eat billions of chickens, and so many of them are it's solely kept for eggs. And I think that. It's just, it's just a cruelty thing. I it's think like, if you're lucky like enough to to know somebody, it's your so, neighbor so keeps cruelty. chickens and treats them well, and you can enjoy their eggs. Good, I mean, that's great. But that's not everybody, right? There's there's fucking eight yes, billion no. people in the world who probably don't have access to a cool neighbor that keeps chickens. So everyone's got their own. Everybody has their reasons. Stuff. Yeah, everyone has their own. Exactly. I, I would, I would say, why not uh, have a little um, edamame instead? Why not have a little radish? Why not have a little tomato? All right, or... I, I'm, I'm like, a, I, I'm not, I'm not having a go at anyone that lives this way. <laughs> but if, if you make a, a moral decision to live a certain way, uh, yeah, I, I think if you can't justify it beyond, well, everyone gets to do what they want. Just to shut up. Look, I, I don't I think, think that's a defensible is, look, position. You should be able to at least have a star that you can explain. That's all Look, I'm saying. My position is not, I'm not the best advocate for veganism here, and I'm not going to give you the best argument. I, I, no, I'm you, not, you've done a great job. I, I, no, I, I, but I, I, I'm, I am I'm also not saying, I'm not saying a, that a 40 there is year not... old guy who's had a, been on a health kick and feels like I want to, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm almost starting to take up jogging or something. Do you know what I mean? Like, oh, I'm, that's I'm, bad at your age. Exactly. Like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm that kind of person, though, this sort of guy who's like thinking about, Eating protein shakes and you know drinking fuel or whatever and, and and talking about calisthenics or whatever the fuck and timing my heart or whatever. What's in you? Mean, I'm, that, I'm of that earth. We know so many people who are doing this who are cycling around to, to places and you know of, of our age who are like suddenly thinking like fuck I'm feeling old now. We talked about this at the start of the podcast. Yeah. But and and they've they've got a health kick and one of the health kicks is this and and that was my my reason to not eat eggs was entirely um on a health, health kick healthful yeah. and and not a, a moral decision at all but the moral thing was a, a happy bonus <laughs> About, and so I can't I can't really say that I took the high ground you know I, I I'm acting selfishly and we all do yeah everyone acts I just selfishly try, in all I, their I, I I try and sometimes my best to... you should. In fact, often you should. I'm sorry. Like this is just how it is. Like this, the world, the life's too short. The world's too full of misery for you not to act selfishly. Sometimes. Well, you know what? We're gonna reach peak human. I think they said 2080. Right. We're gonna hit. We're gonna hit 10 billion. But then I'm past my peak human. No, no, no. You're you're not personal. <laughs> so peak. are you? Not personal peak <laughs> as a, as a species. But then. All the estimates think the the, the decline is going to be precipitous. Like Ooh. we're going to go from ten billion to two billion in a very short space of time. That'll be good. Jeez. No, it will be a disaster. When is this well, meant to happen? Well, all the problems will be solved. No, they will not be solved. Well, but yeah, they will. No, they won't. The reason that well, the problems, there'll be a hundred when this happens. The reason there's a precipitous decline is because specifically the problems have not been solved. Man. And so, oh no, no, I hope no. they it's don't because, throw me under the bus when I get really old. Oh, you're you're a dead it's, man. It's, it's because people are having <laughs> well, probably people yeah, are having yeah. less kids. Like, okay, there's three of us. How many kids have we got between us? Five. Five. Exactly, five children. Right. So we're decrease. Oh, that's not good. Oh no, but we got we you got wives as well, and I've. I have uh, inverted commas a wife, which I don't. But God, <laughs> yeah, you're so ahead of had, yourself. All these, these countries, most countries will have a negative birth rate, right? Yes, that's the However, thing. That's the that's the big thing. However, that will like, change do you remember things. when when I was talking about uh, the haven, the underground haven? Yeah. Last week, and I was discussing how would you have skills and 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 all the rest of it in that. You know, how yeah. much intelligence as a species would we lose? How how population? how much would you lose your mind if you got down there? And one of your primary food sources was chicken eggs, and somebody said, oh. "I won't eat them." 
I'd say I don't give a fuck. That's more into the well, but, yeah, at that point you wouldn't, yeah. What if they told you that the primary food was dog fluff, but it was harvested <laughs> in a really cruel way? <laughs> we shake they the had dogs. like a big spinning <laughs> wheel. Twenty four seven. This is I call this the dog shaker. <laughs> we need more food. Everyone's getting hungry. Turn the dog shaker up. Get in there, Fido, and you better shed, you son of a bitch. We're starving. Let the howling of the dogs commence as we <laughs> shake them for food and spin them. Oh, fucking like hell. Like bald dogs. Yeah. No, I mean, uh, I, I, I think, yes, a lot of it will be negative birth rate. Um, I think a lot of it will be, you know, I was, I was trying to imagine the other day, uh, I was <laughs> looking on YouTube, um, you know, Dr. Simon Clark does uh, some videos about the environment and, and atmospheric uh, conditions and shit like that. And there was one with Jon Stewart, who's made a return to The Daily Show this week. Right. Um, but if you watch it, he's brilliant. Like he's still he's always been exactly really good, yeah. as funny. Yeah, he's so so good. Um, and John Stewart is so good. He's brilliant at doing, doing like actually taking a really really stressful, dark, annoying topic and then still being able to make jokes about it. Yeah, like, yeah. Like I think that is real a real talent of these hosts. And I know a lot of it is prepping in the script, but for me, like. His delivery. It's, it's very... Oh, well, well, I mean, I can't match He's, any of these He's uh, very people, intelligent as well, which comes I just across. find yeah. it so hard sometimes to even try and make a joke about... When we have this... On this podcast, I don't sit all the time, like, we, we talked about these really dark topics and then none of us managed to make any jokes about them. Whereas I think John Stewart would always be able to do something yeah. like that, right? He, but without so seeming flippant, I think that's the skill, is that if, if, like, let's say we're talking about something really dark and you just came in with a, <laughs> yep, here's a joke, and be like, well, that just seems flippant. And you've kind of dismissed a dark topic by just making fun of it. Well, exactly. But they, they managed to not do that, I think. Uh, yeah, anyway. Shit, now you've made me forgot my fucking point. Sorry, well, uh, John Stewart, what a lad. Like, honestly, I mean, he's gone on to, he did a lot of, like, fighting for 9-11. Yeah. Oh, Big I remember. Team. Oh, that stuff was I remember now. really interesting. So, it was, uh, it was a few years ago, it was a clip from when he was on The Daily Show originally, and it was uh, an American uh, senator or, or congressman, I don't know the difference, whichever one it is, uh, talking about climate change, and he said, what, what I don't understand is, and this is basic high school physics as far as I can tell, is that they're worried about this ice melting. Uh, but the ice is already, it's, it's already in the water. So when I have ice cubes in my glass of water, it doesn't displace the water out when it melts, it just melts. So uh, all this stuff about how the ice is going to raise the sea levels, I just don't buy it. I mean, that's just grade school science. You know, that's like his argument. Yeah. Right. And John Stewart is like, yes, but those ice cubes are not in the water right now. They're on the land. And imagine taking all these ice, and then he has like a glass where he chucks all these ice cubes in it. And I just think, how would, how are these people allowed to ask these questions unopposed and have people nod and go, yes, that's right. He makes a good point. I, how is he not laughed out of that room? I don't think they give a fuck because they know none of this affects them. Because they're all old and they're probably going to be dead within 10 years or whatever. And none of this stuff affects them. And they don't care. I just care. can't imagine living like that. Well, I really can't. I've, thinking There's like that. so many it people is, that are amazing. like that, though. It's insane. Yes. Well, I, I, the other thing about it is it's very hard to, when you're on the spot in the interview as the host... To ask the right questions and fact check and and listen and un, and explain right because you basically have to teach an idiot and gently explain to them why they're wrong in a way that they're just not going to either shut down or you know no one's going to understand it so so you almost have to have a team of people in your ear quickly googling and putting together what you should say yeah. you know I mean? you, or be like an absolute polymath of, of knowledge because you never know what bollocks these people are going to come out with. Yeah. Um, Do you know what I, I know. think that it, the one of the ways that we could actually, I mean, obviously, I know people would never agree to it because it might make them look like idiots um, or it might reveal their points as being just based on absolute bollocks. Is that if you're going to have a political discussion about something, what you should do is you can bring certain like it's like an exam. You can bring certain material with you, but independent fact checkers check these statistics, check these facts. And if they're wrong, they say, actually, this this is different. It's not five million, it's one and a half, or whatever it is. And it's like, if you still want to use it, feel free, but you're not allowed to use that. You're not allowed to reference that now without us putting up on screen, fact check, this is actually wrong. 
Um, There's so, no excuse not to have that. These like it's like VAR in football, right? You know they, I mean? they should be able to say, well, "Wait, let us just fucking fact check that." Because instead, people just come out and they'll list statistics and facts as if they're true, and no one's going to take the time to go check them themselves. Very few people. No. Like when I'm reading this, an article or something, and it makes some claim, I'll generally go and see if I can find some other sources that say that same kind of thing. Or there's often an article saying why this is uh, other article is absolute bollocks, and you can read that. Like a debunking, if you like, of, of all this stuff. It just I feel doesn't like this, exist. Obviously, the, the main problem with this, though, is that if you're not careful, it sort of can stifle this, these debates to the point where everyone's scared to say anything because a lot of people... Well, like we're used to this with Twitch chat, right? I'll say something, and people are like, well, not exactly, right? Yeah, uh, you have like the exhausting But they don't say that. They just say, chat. Lewis, you're wrong, yeah. right? And I'm like, well, I'm not wrong, but I wasn't exactly right. That's not the same. Right. Like, do you know what I mean? If, as long as you have the spirit of it, is that enough? That's the question, right? And so what you end up with is it, it tends to be who you would want to believe. I think this is the problem with people like Russell Brand. People... He's a cunt. Is that people the choose? <laughs> people choose to follow him because they they think he is a good thinker for them, like yeah, a surrogate yeah. thinker. They're like, I can't be asked to think, but this guy's doing the but thinking. Then when oh, he's we got a like following this guy. and he knows who they are, he can play up to them as well. I watched a really interesting thing about Russell Brand and how he went through these eras of kind of you know darling of the left and the Guardian. You know when he was sort of coming out and making these things about you know the you know anti anti conservative sort of anti anti establishment stuff really. But then he sort of shifted into, when it wasn't really working, he sort of shifted into being this yoga guru, ice bath yeah. asshole, you know, and, and then he shifted again, and this is his most recent it's one, all conspiracies into and stuff conspiracy into conspiracy nut yeah. stuff. And it's obviously because it happened during COVID and, you know, it's literally because his videos were getting 20k views, then he made one about COVID vaccines not being real, and he was getting 2 million views. Yeah. And, and, he, and he completely turned around. And all the people that he was criticizing 10 years ago and who were criticizing him, he's chumming up with now and on Fox News and with all of his mates. It's actually a complete 180. Yeah. So, so obviously the, the guy has absolutely no moral compass whatsoever or is entirely a puppet. He's a uh, nut. Uh, like it's just blowing a nut. in the winds of whatever will pay him the most. It's, it's kind of disgusting and... Does he have no independent thoughts or no like yeah, he morals does, of his own? But it just mostly it, revolves around how can I make more money? <laughs> I, th yeah. I think, for example, like looking at someone like I hate Bernie Sanders, right? He never changed his view or his mind in fifty years. Right? Yeah. He was doing these marches, marching for things, and his he would say the same things fifty years later. You know, he he was so he picked his like path, and it was a really good progressive you know, healthy, healthy sort of, not socialist, but kind of, you know, supporting labor rights and people, you know, a people, but not a, the people's party, obviously, but you know, yeah. um, I know, we know was, what you mean. It was a good, he was, he, I mean, and, and he sort of, he didn't shift from that. Right. And I just have like great respect for that. And I think that, that Russell Brand doing such a 180 in, 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 Ten years is is astonishing to see, and I think unfortunately what it's done is it's dragged a lot of people with him. You know, he's he 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 did amass a massive following because a lot of the stuff he was saying back in the day was was good, and a lot of the, even the spiritual stuff wasn't harmful. No, you know, particularly it's a bit wishy washy and a bit nonsense and a bit it, it you know it can be a dangerous path to walk if if you're mm. taking advantage of vulnerable people with it, like a bit like doing being. A medium or spiritual stuff, you know, all of that has a, a, has a crystals. So all of it has a slight reek of taking advantage of of people. Yeah, you know. So look, but, look um, I I think regardless of how I'm just thinking about whether having all this fact checking all of it matters. I'm just looking at a post um, where there are some conspiracy nuts and QA non types that now think that Usher, who performed at the Super Bowl, yeah. Uh, grand final was wearing a human suit and uh, when he took a shirt off you could see the zipper for the human suit at the back <laughs> of his body and uh, sure. that he was doing this to show people hey look uh, it's a suit I'm not a real person right um, did, just to, did he, so you oh, guys wait, know no, it Usher doesn't matter what we do these people are out there Usher wasn't the thong song guy right that was no that was Cisco right I wonder if he also is in the same boat where he has a human suit on 
Cisco. I think anyone successful is is one of the lizard people. Right, one of the lizards. Is the way these right. guys see it, yeah. But some of them are, um, you know, trying to free the rest of us, the the basic humans. Right. Uh, and it's, so when they accidentally drop a quote unquote clue, that's because they're trying to let us in on it. Hey, not everything you see is real. Right. You know what I mean? The Illuminati who, so, controls and, everything. And who who are these uh, brave warriors who are going to rescue us from the lizard people? Well, Usher. Usher, oh, Usher is not a lizard person. No, and, he is a lizard guy. Right. But he's going to help us. Oh, he's like, uh, he's, he's like going, a, a, he's a, taking it down from the inside, you mean? Yeah, yeah. Right. Thankfully. Oh, one, that's why he's giving one us clues. Billboard top 100 hit at a time. Yeah. Who, well, okay, so what does he need then for the revolution to work? Because uh, who's, who's involved already? Well, uh, if you post on Facebook about it, right. you're a part of the revolution. So okay. just make sure that if you see a badly made Photoshop or meme right. on Facebook, you repost that shit and you put well, the finger pointing up at it saying this. Is that all or, I need to do to help absolutely, save the world? Brother. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And maybe get a t-shirt or some shit. Right. You can do that. Well, that sounds uh, easy And enough. also, yeah, just be a, be a, be a twat, basically. And, uh, well, that's no problem for me. Exactly. We can manage that. Yeah. Please. We could all do that. Please. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I do that 24-7. I'm halfway there. Same here. I just yeah. need to start retweeting some shit. Just wish there was uh, more hours in the day for me to be a twat. I hope so, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> just, uh, if only. Uh, if only. Oh, God. Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, truth, I don't know how I feel about it, uh, it would be nice. Truth, I, it just, I don't it, know how it just, I feel it, about it. It just, it, it would be nice. I don't know, I know, I want, I just want more, like, I want I've more fact-checking. No, you know? here's, here's the plan. We live, right? we, I mean, an back AI, in the day, an AI. 30, 30 years ago, an we AI. didn't have the fact-checking ability to, right? You'd have to have, you have to get a, the Microsoft Encarta CD to look up a fact. No, I you feel know, like people have ages. some kind of fucking integrity. A little bit more integrity. Not but a huge amount, but a little. it's weird that it's gone the other way, little. though. I would like say everyone, a little. Like, in a day where we're, we have the facts within an arm's reach, you but know, are they reach. actually the facts? Well... There's, there's facts, and there's alternative facts. All right? That's what you got to learn. <laughs> What is a fact, really? It's an opinion, isn't it? So <laughs> opinions can vary. So therefore, in my opinion, my facts are correct. <laughs> I love, I love that. Um, I love it when someone does that, like uh, high school, uh, basic high school, like trying to explain things, you know. <laughs> Like um, well, I mean, in, in my house, uh, the winter was particularly cold this year. So couldn't we, um, couldn't we just warm up the world a little bit? It's just Eugene it Levy. Me greatly. It's it's <laughs> Eugene Levy. We all go on holiday to hot countries, and we like that just fine. You know, so uh, what's wrong with the world warming up a bit? I think there is a lot of that shit in the back of people's minds, though. Do you know what I mean like that stupid thought? You no, know? I I think it's actually more banal than that. I think given that flat earthers literally take pictures of a field and say, uh, it looks flat to me, people are very locally minded. Yeah. And the internet has we're not ready to think about what's happening all over the world all the time, no. be in contact with people all the time. We never will be. So if you can tell someone, look, the world is heating up, the oceans are getting warmer, and I'm like, well, it's cold today. It's too easy for people to think locally because that's human nature. Yeah. So it doesn't really matter. At the same time, knowing check. all this stuff is 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 happening. Um, I'm not. I'm not saying don't pay it any attention. It is important to to pay attention to it and to to try to do things or whatever. But like, um, you know, whether whether you know or not, what what are you going to really do about it? What what can you do about it? You like what can what can one person do about it? Well, you could start um, your right. own little little farm. You could, yeah, you, could get you your can own, get some dogs. You, you know, you could give, but give, I, them, but give them a little of, get a little comb. And eat their fur. Uh, like a lot of this stuff, it really is just is pretty insignificant though. Like like even if everybody did it, it would still be pretty insignificant well, but, you know but like, that's, who cares about them you know they don't, they don't you're out of sight out of mind yeah yeah I, you just stay in your own I, little valley turn the internet off i'm, I'm not uh, i'm not saying like oh well it's a, i'm I, i'm not uh i'm not being like fickle about it like i i am concerned about it like the the, the science and and everything but well but, of course you're concerned about the world because you've got kids who are going to inherit this world? Yeah, of right? course. You, you, of course, you're worried about yeah, their, yeah. the future that they inherit. But it changes your view. But the but the the, the changes that people are talking about, uh, I I can't make any of those changes. I can make some personal changes, but I mean that good for me. But I I mean you know what? Like they they have to come from 
a much like higher place where it can have a lot more impact. But there, there's so many forces against making any this change. This is a very common feeling. This it, it, it just feels the whole here. thing just feels really hopeless. Like I, well, I cannot do a, a thing about it. Uh, I, well, I can exactly, try to yeah. conserve my plastic bags, and I can do my best. But ultimately, I don't think that even doing my absolute best is going to make an ounce of difference whatsoever. The singularity will save us, don't worry. Yeah. We're going to come up with an AI, and we're going to entrust it, and it's going to take over and enslave the human yeah. race. Yeah. I just, I just, re we'll I just survive. resent there being some sort of sense of responsibility around this stuff on the, on the everyday person when we're, we're following the script. People have, have said to us, this is how you, you can live. This is what you should do. These are the things that you should buy. This is the way that you should, these are, you know, these are the things you can do to pay your bills and stuff. And we do it, right? Like, like what, what else are we going to do? Like, we, we've been brought up in this society by our parents who did it, by their parents who did it as well. And now it's like, okay, but um, can you help out? And can you, uh, can you reverse catastrophic climate change well no i don't know how to do that sorry <laughs> yeah. i can't i like it. how the, the government turn up at your yeah. place in a helicopter and it's like it's like, like yeah you got any ideas no i was kind of hoping no, you did actually up. like uh they, they say get in. i'm i'm just working i'm I'm, <laughs> I'm just working at a desk and paying my bills like you told me to i i, I didn't realize there was i had to do a more desk yeah couldn't you just work on a rock? <laughs> yeah. No, but you know what? I, I don't want to be flippant about it. I do, but it is a fucking course, joke at the same of, time. Of course, because it's put on us. Yeah, right? it's it, so stupid. Like, oh, yeah, to maybe use less of this. Don't fucking make it if you don't want me to use it. I will soon stop using it if you stop fucking making it. How about that? <laughs> it's not fucking hard, is it? <laughs> That's true. It's so and stupid. It's all, I know. I think, though, I po to, to be positive, I do think that this 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 sort of thought process is not we're not it's not unique to us it is the general yeah. consensus and i think that will filter through to the people in power and once the generation of old men running things dies off things will turn They'll around they'll just be replaced to... by other old men though there's old men waiting in the wings to replace the other old men you've seen them yeah but hopefully those old men the up and coming, the up and coming old Brand. men are just as bad if not worse than the current well, this old is men why people were saying John Stewart should run for, for president but the people you know, who should run for, for president never would in a million years because it but, I mean, it sucks I think that's the thing though the, the old thing is that the best person to be president is someone who doesn't want to be exactly. president exactly you know, that's why that's why George Stewart should probably be president yeah but it, and in a sense he's it's there is precedent that a comedian becomes president that's what Zelensky was right and he's a He's doing pretty well. He was a comedian. Well, yeah, he, 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 Jeez, he, was well, a, he is he not was funny a... anymore. <laughs> well, no, I mean, a couple of years of uh, war will do that to you. Yeah, yeah. it took the funny right out of me. <laughs> can't make it. Can't crack any jokes anymore. Yeah, I, I too much when shit. you were funny. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell! Oh man! Oh Gee. god! Yeah. So um. Yeah, I think that that would be. You think well. I'm funny? I did three tours of duty in Vietnam. <laughs> How yeah, funny well, is that, you son I of a bitch? When you were funny. <laughs> 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 Fucking hell! Oh, good grief! Oh. Um, so yeah, we're we're just doing our best, everyone, and I think yeah, yeah future. Hopefully, you the your precipitous best. decline in, in humans might fix uh, everything. I think yeah, so let's, let's, eat more let's not eggs. bank on that. Eat a but... few more eggs. Eat um, a few I more think eggs. We'll be fine. Yeah, try not scratch, to buy plastic bags for seventy p. Bring your own. <laughs> I fucking. You hell. know what? That that has worked. It has worked. That like, has oh, worked. That worked yeah, overnight. Has, but it's like I'm saying, like, just if you if you don't make them, we won't use them. We have to find some other way to carry our shit. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to make my own plastic bags. I, I can't do that. So right, right. Plastic bag use falls <laughs> by more than ninety eight percent. Yeah, of course it has. Nobody. I've got about five hundred pounds worth of plastic bags right. in my garage. Like, of course it has. <laughs> But I take bags with me every time, even the corner shop, I'm taking yeah. a bag. It's become, so the, the thing is, if there is a willpower, like the, the number one way to change people's behavior has almost always been to make them pay for shit things as long as there's an alternative. So for example, if you don't want your town center being clogged with cars, parking fucking everywhere and driving around like shitheads, you add a parking f like meters, a, a fine for parking like an idiot, and you yeah. offer public transport. And that does generally work. 
Because you think, oh, no, we'll never be able to park. Fuck it, we'll get the bus. Well, of Whereas course. If, if you don't have that option, uh, or sorry, if, if you have the option to drive, a lot of people would just drive. So with plastic bags, you add a very small price. And suddenly people are like, oh, no, fuck it, I'll just bring one. And that does matter. So I understand well, of course, what you're saying about how we no, feel helpless. Yeah, yeah, saying, no, I, okay. I completely agree. Right. Absolutely. Right. But, Imagine but for this, example, right? like They hold can on, take on, it further, on. though. So the, the straws thing, right? Replacing plastic straws with paper straws. And everyone's like, these paper straws are not as good. They still work. And yeah. then they don't last forever. Yes, yeah. they're maybe not as good, but we're not adding billions of fucking straws to just sit around. So it, I, it does matter. But, 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 when, but, but, when hold, hold, on, need, hold on, hold on, hold on. When do you need a straw, like, desperately, though? Right, right, like, you need for one, one when you're having a drink and the drink is gone and now the straw is, it's, it's useless now because it's a paper straw, but you don't need it anymore. No, no, but did you? Away. But I'm, I'm saying, do you need? Do you really need a straw in the first place? Like what probably is the... yes for some things. Like, like for what? example, well, if you get a a, a a drink from say McDonald's or from any right. fast food place, right. You need a straw. You do need a straw. A milkshake. You need a straw. You can't eat it without a straw. You need. You well, need, that's because they have shit cups. Yeah, their sh their cups are shit. That's why their cups are not shit. They leak. They, they course... don't leak. That's you the can't, point. You can't take the top off a McDonald's cup and drink a drink without a straw. It's too flimsy. You're, that coke will be everywhere, and they fill it to the brim because they, they want right to make to the brim. they fill it right to the brim because they make, want to make you get your money's worth. It's right. a whole psychological trick. But as of long as it it's recyclable, it doesn't really matter if that's what people. Well, look, like. some people have like um, sensitive teeth, so you just roll. Okay, yeah, so carry on. Just okay. My, my point is that there is political willpower from people to say they took our straws, and some people are agreeing with that and voting based on these stupid, shitty things like straws. Right. So when we're saying what can we do about it, the first thing you could do is vote for people who do not say shit like that. Like people yeah. who complain about a fucking straw as a thing worth talking. Politicians should never be discussing the fact that I prefer the other straws. Who gives a shit? It's obviously a good idea. Like th there's no way, you're just trying to curry favor with people. What they should be talking about is the things that politicians should actually be dealing with. And we should vote for those people. So when you worry yeah, we about do, what though. can I we do about We have a track record of never voting for those people. We right, always vote for but the idiots. But a lot idiots. of people vote for those people. That's yeah. the problem. So we need to try to convince people not to vote for those people. That's pretty much all we can do. Right. That's it. Well, so good when you're luck wondering with what that. you can do, that. <laughs> yeah, that. good luck well, with I, that. I think it's okay. Like The way I think it works is that imagine you want to get more people to cycle in, or you want to reduce the number of, of cars in town. So you're like, okay, let's build some cycle lanes, right? That won't do anything, right? Because there's no incentive for people to stop driving. You know, what you need to do is suddenly if you bring a congestion charge in or make it more difficult to park or shut a load of roads down and give people no choice, then suddenly they're going to start cycling, right? Like that's the way to sort of force change. But of course, every change you make causes unexpected things right you know maybe they're good maybe they're bad you don't, you don't know maybe there's a lot more accidents because of these changes maybe there's a lot more maybe there's a lot more people who are healthy because of these changes you know you don't know what you're going to do when you make these changes but i think you just have to make them with with positivity make them with a good attitude like yeah like think that this is going in the right direction and you know that that's it let's um let's move on i've got some a uh, news uh, I was enjoying news. the doom and gloom, though. Honestly, right. I, th I, I just want to say, bask in that shit. <laughs> All right, so uh, Flight Simulator. Yes. I don't know if you've seen this. Have a June expansion. Oh, I There's didn't, nothing I, in the world I, in June is a desert. I didn't. This is what I, didn't I thought. No, but the Dune expansion. But there is an expansion coming out for Flight Simulator, which adds missions and like uh and stuff to do and rescue missions as well there's going to be like uh you know like air ambulances and stuff you can go you can go out to like the alps and rescue people um there's gonna be like it's, cargo delivery right. and stuff it's so it'll you be have to, you have to right, take people on their holiday flights to the world food. of yes, june all the that world kind of, of stuff june. The it's world of one, Dune. It's one terrain. I like think that'll sphere. be more exciting than the Dune DLC, the other one. Wait for the other one. I'd say skip the Dune DLC and just wait for the other the one. The skies of Arrakis are traversed by a deft craft called an Ornithopter. Yeah, the Ornithopter, yeah. A nimble flying machine propelled by four precisely it's like a dragonfly. oscillating wings. Just imagine a dragonfly. That's what you're you have to, you have to. You have to master five time trails and a daring rescue mission where aviators must save their flight instructor before he is engulfed by a massive sandstorm. That seems crazy to me. I mean, I'm I, not being I, funny, I, but that is cheap to fucking make. I would not go well, in on that one. Well, you only need two textures. Sky sand. and sand. That's it. You've done it. Well done. It's the June pack. Next, okay. the North Pole. 
<laughs> then uh, the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Whoa! I tell you what, the the latest flight sim is spectacular. Like some of the, like you fly to like if you fly to like Norway or you fly oh, over Norway's Hong beautiful. Kong and stuff. Oh my god! Like they, it's it's so beautifully rendered. Have and everything they added is. textures now, Sips? Because when there's I flew over oh, London, the new, the new one is great. Shit. Yeah, early on there's some cities they didn't, but it's been out for long enough now where. They've just uh, gradually been adding more and more and more to it. Do I have to pay for it? I think New York, when the game launched, New York was like pretty much done. Like they spent yeah. a lot of time on some of like the, the the really big iconic cities. Sadly, London wasn't one of them. Yeah, London, but, not an iconic city, I guess. Well, no, Seems but I mean, I, I think it's just the the actual, the, the amount of work involved in the task. It was always going to be something that was going to be sort of trickled out. After but, but do launch. I have to pay for it? But that's I don't question. think so. No, I think the I think I think if you have to pay for anything, usually the DLC models for uh, Flight Sim are just new planes, types of planes, huh. and uh, and and any big sort of like system overhauls as well, like uh, you know, like this mission kind of stuff and probably the dune stuff but no mm. i think there's i think there's regular updates that come out i i'm not 100 percent sure but i'm fairly certain that that's the case interesting all right what's next lulu so okay um biden president biden old man biden has joined tiktok i'm on i'm on tiktok cookies i like cookies <laughs> Dana Carvey does a really good impression of uh, Joe Biden, uh, where he he walks around the he he says stuff, but he finishes every sentence with the same phrase. He'll oh. go like, "Well, uh, uh, come on now, come on, oh, you, this is you're kidding me. What? Come on, fella, get it together. We got the the supposition compulsions, and we got the, the, the Pirates of the Caribbean." That's it. Always comes down to Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> gang, 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 Pirates of the Caribbean, gang, gang. gang. gang, gang. Well, that's a nice bill. Yum yum. <laughs> that's, oh. a, that's a nice executive order. Delicious. <laughs> I like cookies. Yum yum. Let, let us know if you uh, let us know if you eat eggs. Yeah. And... Let us know if you want Pyrian to teach you how to suck eggs as well. You... Well, I, I would never offer to do that because you know that's not fair to the chickens. We've been doing that for seven years. What on this eating podcast. eggs? Sucking Teaching eggs. people to suck eggs. <laughs> no. no. We've been giving no. them our half-assed advice, and right, they've we been... never yeah. give advice. We never well, give I advice. Do. I give half-assed advice all the time. All the time. What yeah. advice have we given? Well, be good to each other. You know, do do do. Stay Latin frosty. Times, or that's it good was. advice. Pa Palantines. That's not advice. That's a suggestion. Um, call your call your nan. Call your mum. Give them a ring. See how they're doing. That's not advice. You know, check in. We I, we I, have occasional emails with people like I need dating advice. Like the lad who asked. Uh, we I'm, didn't fucking help that guy. Right. No, but he asked my my girlfriend's into James Corden. What do I do? Right. That was one of the the emails. What was our what was our advice on that one? I don't think I don't actually think Rum. we covered it. I don't think I, I think, think I just you advised um, him to break up with her immediately. Oh yeah, that's right. Because <laughs> it'll be something worse next. Right. <laughs> yeah. That's that's like a, that's the canary in the coal mine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, we're done. Thank you, everyone. We'll see Goodbye. you all next time. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye.